good morning everyone. So in light with uh, some of the video advice I've gotten, I've decided prior to starting to work, I'll give you a little preview of what I'm about to do so you have an idea. So uh, we have these 1205B uh, left and right, um, which will sit on uh, the top of the posts on right there and there. Um, I have to, so I've already countersunk the holes, as you can see. You had to machine countersink the four holes for each nut plate. And then now I have the nut plate clicoed on with a bolt in place. And I'm gonna rivet these on. Once that's complete, we will be riveting on this, uh, this cross plate here, which um, of course the fuel tank will sit right here. And then um, the seats will back up to this. So the seat backs will back up to this. So we'll get that riveted on next. And that's, what's, uh, that's what you're about to see. Just a quick recap of what we just finished. Uh, we got um, these plates riveted up on the side. These are all flush uh, solid rivets. So um, as you can see, there's 24 rivets on each one of these on both the left and the right. So we got those riveted in. And once we finished that, we started on um, the, the longerons, which, you know, the side panels uh, the side scans will all mount to um, along with the uprights and then the center uh, so got all that riveted in and next we'll be moving on to the uh, oh I did forget which what you saw there was uh, in the last video so we had to dimple 22 of the holes um, on this 1234 which is this top piece that sits on top of the launcher on and then since these were dimpled, we had to machine countersink the laundry on. So um, all these holes up in the front, up to here, we had to uh, dimple and machine countersink. So finish that up. Now, uh, next we'll be moving on to the side skins, uh, which starting to cut out the, uh, the slots for where the wing spars will slide in here. So that's what's coming up next. See y'all soon. following along in the videos thank you um, I just wanted to put a quick note in the end of this because um, I know I haven't stated it in any of my other videos or in the descriptions but uh, I'm strictly doing this just for uh, one to capture the build process for me um, I did have a blog on uh, Weebly that I was managing but it just took so much time I was spending uh, two hours at, at a time to update uh, upload photos organize everything and then you know, type everything up, proofread, and then I was having issues with the website. So um, I got tired of that. And uh, after watching some of the other videos online, you know, the RV10 build that Jason's doing, uh, watch Andrew's video on the 14, doing a wonderful job. I, lo I love, uh, it kept me going when, you know, I didn't have the kit to work on. So, you know, when I was waiting between the, the empennage and the fuselage kit, you know, it's just something to, uh, to keep me entertained and keep me involved with uh, somebody else's project and not so much my own. But, you know, these videos are just for, uh, you know, entertainment purposes only. There's, this is not instructional, so don't take it as, uh, you know, learn from me or, you know, who knows, I may be doing everything wrong. <laughs> I hope not. But um, 
so yeah just for entertainment purposes only and uh and if you like what what uh what i'm doing you know leave a thumbs up um subscribe you know hit the notification button you'll get see the new videos when they come out if you don't like what you're seeing or there's some things you want to see me do differently drop a comment below and uh, let me know what it is i'm open to feedback um i'm not out buying expensive camera equipment and mic equipment and stuff like that i'm just strictly doing this to document the build process for me for the most part and for anyone else out there that's needing some motivation uh throughout um you know between kits or maybe you're thinking about doing this and you just want to um, you know, see what's involved if it's if it's something you think you can do, and it's it's too easy. I mean, if you think you can, if you don't, if you're not sure whether or not you can do it, you can do it. If you can you can read English, uh, you're pretty much qualified. So, um, real easy to do. But um, yeah, leave a comment if there's things you want to see more of, or things you don't really care to see more of. If you want to see less of me or hear less of me, that's fine. Just let me know, um, or more. You know, either way, I'm open to feedback. So let me know what y'all think, and um, thanks for following along.